السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی میسج ٹو آل ویمن ٹوڈے از اباؤٹ ڈیٹ وین یو پش یور ہسبینڈ وین یو پش دا ارننگ سورس آف یور ہسبینڈ وچ یو تھنک از دا پرائمری ارننگ سورس اینڈ دا پرائمری ریسپانسبل پرسن ٹو ارن فار دا فیملی اینڈ یو پش ہم ٹو ورس اڈاپٹنگ دا رانگ مینس اور دا حرام مینس آف ارننگ دا ریسورسز فار دا ہاؤس اور دا رسک فار دا ہاؤس یو ایکچولی پش دیٹ پرسن ٹو ورس دا ہیلپ فائر And then you say it's a man's job to earn the, the primary uh, bread, to earn the bread and to provide for you and for your children. If you actually do that to your husband, you're actually making things difficult for them and for you because together you are each other's source to Jannah. Together you're each other's source to the, uh, the Jannah and to your ticket to Jannah. Remember in Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls you the, the fabric or the garment for each other. So if you're not protecting your garment and you're, if you're not beautifying your garment, if you're not giving comfort to your garment, how can you actually expect your, that garment to not get tired and do the same for you? So your husband, yes, Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them the responsibility to do the, the primary uh, earning and to actually provide for you, for your children, to protect you, to give you a house, give you a, a roof, give you every single possible luxury in life. But you also have to ensure that you have a responsibility and accountability towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You have to be content, my sister, right? You have to show the contentment. You have to show the patience. You have to sh- show the submission towards that very man that you are actually holding responsible for doing his job as the believer, as the slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he has the responsibility from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to actually provide for you, you have the responsibility towards the same Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to actually be submissive to him to be obedient to him right so when it comes to earning when it comes to giving you all the luxuries when it comes to giving all the possible blessings in the house you actually hold the person responsible and uh, you know accountable that because of his responsibility given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but when it comes to your responsibility towards him commanded by the same Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you have a problem with that right so we have to we have to ensure that we actually hold the same standards for us and our husbands and we actually do the same for us and our husbands and we have to be very kind and we have to be very fair right when it comes to your responsibility you say oh it's not my job to raise the children it's not my job to take care of the house it's not my job to actually clean the house and to cook and everything so the person who married me as a man who who is the kawamoon of the family has the responsibility to do everything for me right and then when it comes to your responsibility you say oh you know what i have my rights allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not asked me to actually do the cleaning do the cooking and uh, raising the children even i should be paid for raising the children or nursing the children this is unfair my sister this is completely unfair and this is uh, irresponsible for us asking for everything demanding for everything and not giving anything in return right so that one man that you are actually holding responsible because he has no right over your money your inheritance money your job money or your business money or anything has no right right he has no right but you have all the right on his money but when you push him without being content to actually adopt the wrong means right and like you know over and above his human limit you actually pushing him towards the wrong things and you actually building more pressure on him and then in reverse you're building pressure on you pressure on your marriage pressure on your family life and eventually pressure on your children he might not be the best husband available for you he might not be the best romantic husband uh, available to you that you expect for he will not he will not be the same kind of person that you actually married and then we complain Remember the hadith Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam clearly said that he saw more women in hell he saw more of us because we are ungrateful we complain a lot so remember when we complain we actually have the self accountability process in place we have to know what we are doing wrong we have to understand what we are doing wrong and fix that before holding anybody else responsible because as the slave of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we are both as men and the wife we are both responsible accountable and answerable to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the very god who actually put us together in this 
uh, agreement called nikah and then he is the very god who will be uh, asking question to both of us for each of us for each of our responsibilities given to us as as husband and wife so remember that inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh